Yeah, right. Hey everyone, this is Charles Dimitri from loungeboudoir.com and in this video I'm going to reveal seven boudoir lighting tips you should know. But before I get started, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you like these videos and also that bell icon to notify you whenever I post a new video. Okay, let's get started. Seven boudoir lighting tips you should know. Number one, directional light is always more interesting than a wash of light because directional light gives you highlights and shadows. So be aware of your light's direction and if it's weak, you want to enhance it, you want to emphasize it. So you may have to increase the intensity of your light or introduce more shadow. Number two, when shooting dark and moody, make sure you have shadows and highlights. Sometimes I see images that are supposed to be dark and moody and they're just dark and then less dark. You need the highlights to emphasize the shadows and you need the shadows to emphasize the highlights. If you don't have highlights, you're gonna have dark and murky. Number three, to get sharper images that show more detail and accurate color, you want to use a flash. Shooting in natural light does have its own look, but it's not going to be, you're not going to get as fine a detail as you will shooting with flash. And also you're going to get a lot of color cast, which is fine. You know, that's the look of natural light. But if you have colors in your scene that need to be accurate, you should use flash. It's also really great for tiny mesh or lace in lingerie. It's really going to make that shine. Number four. When you need a fill light, use a bounce instead of a flash. It's going to be a lot quicker and easier to set up, and it's not going to be such an interruption for your session and for your client. It'll keep things flowing um, a lot faster. Number five, when shooting with natural light, you want to adjust your shutter speed to control your exposure. Number six, when shooting with flash, you wanna control the level on your flash to control your exposure. Now, you can also adjust your aperture to, to control the exposure when you're shooting with flash. However, if you are shooting a shallow depth of field and you want to maintain that shallow depth of field, you have to use the power level on your flash or obviously you will lose that, you know, that look. And number seven, when shooting with top light, make sure your model cheats up towards the light to prevent raccoon eyes. Now this is what happens when you have the light coming down from above and your subject's head and recessed eye sockets are not allowing any light to shine in her eyes. This happens when the head is level or even pointing down a bit. So in order to prevent raccoon eyes, like in this photo here, have your subject cheat up towards the light or put her in a position where she's on her back and her face is naturally uh, facing the light. Or you can have her on her stomach where her face is not gonna be lit at all. And that's another, that's another look. But if she's on her side, kind of laying on her side, she will have to cheat her head up towards the light in order to illuminate her face. Hey, if you're interested in learning more about lighting for boudoir, check out my ebook, The Boudoir Lighting Guide. I will put a link in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like these videos, and I will catch you at a future point in the YouTube universe.